Hello, welcome to Tech Transform. Today I am going to demonstrate you installing Kafka and how to utilize Kafka commands in order to create topics. Utilizing that topic and pushing messages to Kafka server and try to consume that messages uh, as they comes in. Uh, I am going to show you all the live demo here, and I I am also uh, highly recommending you to uh, watch my previous video that is ca that is called Kafka introduction. So let's get started. First thing we have to do, we have to install Kafka. To install Kafka, first we have to download that. Let's go to any browser and type Kafka underscore. This version I am taking. You should click this link, index of, and try to download this Kafka underscore two point one one. Let's click on this. So it's getting stop. It's getting downloaded. So after download, what you have to do? You have to enter it, unzip it, and put it inside a work folder. You have to enter it extract here so you will get this folder and finally you have to copy and put it inside in work folder like this like this yeah inside that you are going to get these folders config here all this config settings related to how to start topic uh, related to consumer and producers all settings will be here here we are not going to change this because it's already set up there by default and bin is the actual uh, command files ac actual cell commands uh, are here uh, in order to start all those kafka brokers uh, zookeeper ser services so we'll be using each by uh, one by one from here only so this is about the installation directory <coughs> let's go inside our <coughs> commands the very first thing what we have to do, we have to start Zookeeper service. Uh, Zookeeper server. Why? K Kafka will not directly in, uh, work here because a, a, in order to work with Kafka, we have to first start a Zookeeper. Zookeeper is nothing but a service that will keep track down of uh, what is happening with your Hadoop cluster and everything. So it will go on top of on top of Zookeeper. Kafka used to run, and Kafka used to uh, send all those. Uh, uh, system calls what uh, Zookeeper is going to execute that so in order to work with Kafka first you have to run Zookeeper then you have to run Kafka both should run then only you can uh, you will be able to create topic uh, produce some messages and try to and will able to consume that message so let's first start the uh, Zookeeper server here this command by using this command we can actually start uh, the zookeeper and just replace start with stop in order to stop the server let's start zookeeper service first i'm copying open open any term open my terminal okay then let's go into our inside ins inside uh, kafka directory for that cd space work cd space Kef, kef, kafka underscore ta. okay see we will able to find everything bin and config uh, let's paste my command what I have just copied in order to start zookeeper control shift v what it is going to do it's going to start zookeeper server enter okay so it's starting let it let it be like that let's open a new tab in it in our terminal new tab let's go to document the second thing we have to do we have to start kafka server for that we have this command see all these commands are not coming nothing from this bin folder actually we are going to execute our kafka installation folder inside that bin you will find all those files already cell commands file will be there only we are utilizing those in order to start all the zookeeper kafka servers and all so it's already started zookeeper now we we should start kafka server 
give you a password so Kafka survey is also started here I want to show you something zookeeper service actually it's run on port 2181 I want to show you that but just remember the zookeeper service runs on 2181 it's important okay let's open keep uh, keep both the tabs open and uh, let it be like that now let's open one more new tab so what we done so far we started zookeeper server we started kafka server now we have to create a topic topic uh, you know it's nothing it's uh, basically it's uh, it's able it will transmit your message whatever going whatever you're going to produce and whatever you're going to consume from this topic so it's a channel to actually propagate your messages it will take messages from source and it will take and it will try to uh, push uh, messages to uh, the consumer so let's start let's create any topic first then we'll, we'll be able to utilize this topic for that control shift v here the command is bin we are going inside bin and try to execute this kafka topic x then uh, hyphen hyphen create then hyphen hyphen zookeeper and you are telling that where zookeeper is running on which port remember i told you it's, it is running on 2181 port this this replicates vector and partitions we are giving just default one and topic hyphen hyphen topic and the topic actual topic name so let's say I'm giving here test topic or let's give Kafka topic okay created topic Kafka so topic created awesome let's quickly check what are the topics available so this command is to list out all those uh, whatever the topics created so see, uh, this is uh, our last topic I have created, and this one of this this is just we created Kafka topic. Now let's to go again document. What we have done so far, we have started Zookeeper server, we have started Kafka server, we created a topic, we listed out all the topics. Now what we uh, what we want what we have to do in in order to send messages, we are using this whatever the topic we have just created after ut utilizing this topic we used we actually what we are going to do we are going to send produce messages for that let's type this control C shift V I'm not I'm not entering right now first we have to change the topic name what we have created Kafka topic Kafka topic okay this topic we have created so see what we are doing to do we are going to start actually uh, use our console.producer.research command in order to produce Kafka produce messages to this Kafka topic now we are going to produce the produce the message and somebody is uh, there to consume the messages also I am not pressing entering right now here let's me let me type that command also for that open a new window actually So what I am going to do, I am rearranging my window so that I can show you the actual output height is coming. okay fine let's quickly copy this receive message command start consumer to receive message for this we have this command okay so see what we are doing here we are trying to execute this consumer.ss file and giving our topic name let me change my topic name my topic name is Kafka topic Kafka topic Kafka topic yeah here we have an intercorrect spelling topic so 
I haven't pressed enter for both the this producer this is our consumer from here once we start produce the producing this message here this consumer should able to receive those messages so this is a live hands-on we are going here and I will show you how Kafka works actually and this this uh, last parameter from beginning we are keeping that if you want to let's say if you start a producer and you want to consume and you're actually consuming consuming uh, the message later at a later time so th in that case what happened if the hyphen hyphen from beginning command it will give you whatever all the messages that producer is sending from the beginning so you will not going to lose that messages now let's enter into our first I'm starting producer I'm pressing enter in this tab okay and try to send some messages hello winner how you let me start here also see this is started see we got hell winner how are you something like that let's let's check live now see I am sending here this this is the what I am sending messages from producer and this consumer is able to consume that so that's what the Kafka we configured and we are able to see see this is the live thing we are seeing this is pretty cool stuff so uh, I have shown all the concept for Kafka so that's all for this video thanks for watching have a good day bye